Hello and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. My name is Aaron. Probably first time welcome to most of you watching this video. <laughs> back in 2017 and 2018, I recorded um, a couple of game room tours and a lot has changed since then. So um, since we've been in quarantine, I've done a lot of work in here and my wife has been very gracious and kind of let me do my thing. Um, so, and also I am recording this on my iPhone. Um, I didn't have my camera charged, so I apologize if it doesn't look super great or sound super great. Um, but I just wanted to record something very quickly here, um, just so I could show you all the updates um, and also take up some of my time um, and re just record um, and talk about video games, which is something that I love. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in the room. Just gonna do a quick spin and you'll obviously see quite a bit of Star Wars memorabilia. Um, this is my main entertainment section. I'll show you what that looks like in a few. Then over here you have most of my cartridge games, um, a lot of them in box. Uh, I, I don't really like, I don't really care about collecting in box games other than a couple, just because I do play them and I don't, I don't collect them for value or anything like that. Um, and then you see some Star Wars stuff. We'll get over here to kind of the bulk of my collection. You see a lot of Xbox One, a lot of PS4, and I don't plan on going through all of these um, individual collections or anything like that. Because um, I have other videos if you wanted to see what they look like. Um, I'll just give you kind of a brief overview. And then I have my game boxes up here, uh, my system boxes, things like that. Um, more action figures. So to start, um, this is where I spend most of my time when I'm playing in here. Um, when I first created the game room, I wanted a lot of pillows, a lot of blankets, just so it would be a comfortable place for me to relax and um, kind of do my thing. Um, and I also have this ottoman, which doubles as storage. So instead of kind of keeping all of my controllers out in the open, there's a lot of junk in here, but I try to keep it as organized as possible. Um, I try to keep all the controllers that I play out and the ones that I don't use away other than like some of the more interesting ones like I'll leave those out just for for decoration um, but let's start here starting on 360 nothing crazy Deadpool's upside down this is um, an active game room that I play in so things are kind of messed around a little bit but everything is in alphabetical order and arranged by system. And if you see a game or two that's out of order, then sorry. <laughs> um, this is my custom controller chaos Xbox One controller that I sat on and broke. Um, and I don't really know how to fix it, so it just kind of sits there. Um, down here, you'll see I have like Star Wars Magic fan. I'm a Giants fan. Um, so that's some Super Bowl grass. Um, don't really have anything too crazy in here other than so I found out the other day that this this Godzilla game here it's worth between 150 and 200 bucks and I paid I don't know like 30 bucks for it brand new it's a horrible game it's not good but for some reason like people are looking for it um, and I'm just gonna leave it there and see if it keeps going up in price now I don't keep any of my like collectors editions um, in, in kind of the mix here like I have the, for this guy, I have the, the collector's edition, but it just doesn't look right in here. So I keep that off in a separate area. And then I have kind of my overflow PS4 games down here. Nothing crazy. So you have my, my game pad, my Wii U game pad. There's my iPhone. Nothing crazy here either. Some of the Mario Kart, some Mass Effect. Um, Super Mario Maker now. I do keep those in there, um, those collector's editions, just because they kind of fit well. And I don't really have a whole ton of Wii U games, or really even Switch games. Um, this, this area of my collection is kind of lacking, so I'd like to kind of build that out a little bit at some point. And you'll see down here, sorry for the lighting, um, just my PS3 games. Very rarely play this game, but I did actually buy it um, brand new the week it came out. Um, so I still have my original fat PS3 that's backwards compatible and I'm pretty happy about that um, so that if I do want to play 
uh, my PS3, sorry, drugs, shh. Um, I do have that if I want to play the PS2 and PS3 games and PS1 games. <laughs> um, then down here, you'll see my Xbox uh, original collection. Again, nothing crazy, sorry about the lighting. Here's that big fat controller. Nothing super exciting, um, but I do have the Battlefront series and Jedi Outcast and Knights of the Old Republic, which are some of my favorite games of all time. Um, and I remember specifically playing those on this system. Um, you'll see my original PS1. I have the screen somewhere. I don't remember where I put it, but it's around here somewhere. And now I have my PS1 collection. This is all thrifted. Um, I did not pay for any of these. So you'll see a lot of sports titles. I know it's dark. I'm sorry. So there's them. Um, we'll stand up here. Work our way to the top. Uh, we already did 360. Um, we'll go down here. These are my GameCube games. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do that I actually just upgraded was I moved this white um, 360 here. I put a GameCube right here. And then I put a PS2 that I built down here um, and put it in a ghost case. I don't really like to use that one. I kind of like to show it off in this corner just because I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so we'll start with the GameCube here. Now, I love the GameCube. I didn't get it until way, way later. Um, but I do really enjoy it. It's a fun system. You'll see my wave bird. Again, don't want to spend too much time on these. Uh, the Super Monkey Ball games are always fun. Time Splitters 2 is also fun. Let's pop that back there. Down here we have the PS2. The first bit. Again, a lot of these are thrifted, and a lot of them are um, games from when I was a kid, so you're gonna see some doubles and things like that. But And then leftover PS3 games in the corner um, that I did not have room for. I know it's dark down here, but I won't even bother. There's nothing crazy down here. Again, just like kind of the standard games. Um, but I try to collect games that I actually play and games that I enjoy. Um, or just interesting games that I find in thrift stores if the case is cool. Then up here we have my Wii selection. Now the Wii is one of those systems that I just don't play a lot. Um, but um, it's easy to collect for because games are cheap and there's just so many of them. The only game that's really worth mentioning here is Metroid Prime Trilogy. It's the Steelbook. Um, I'm pretty happy to have that. I found it in a GameStop in like a clearance bin. Got it for a few bucks. Um, and an old VR thing. The Video Now games, or movies, which I've never seen, but there they are. You see my American Sega Saturn. Now this is a system that I really enjoy. Again, didn't have it as a kid, but um, began collecting for it um, probably about 10 years ago or so. Um, nothing super, super crazy here. Uh, I have Shinobi is a good one, uh, Quake is a good one, Panzer Dragoon, I mean you can't not mention the Panzer Dragoon series, yeah, Wipeout, Wipeout's always fun. And actually, I think I said that I had done the Xbox 360, but I don't think I did. This is like the third time that I've recorded this because my dog keeps barking, or I got a phone call or something like that. So just going to do a quick kind of overview here. This is kind of the, the system that I consider to be my system. I did a lot of gaming on the 360. A lot of um, great titles here. A lot of fun ones. That Game of Thrones game is not one of them. <laughs> uh, but the Gears of War series is great. Halo um, is incredible. Um, up until Halo 4. Wasn't a huge fan of uh, Halo 5, but I Left for Dead I played for uh, years. The Mass Effect series I've beat many, many times. Skyrim. I remember taking off work the first day Skyrim came out. I actually have my uh, Alduin statue from the Legendary Edition. Um, I'm definitely going to hold on to that guy. A lot of fun. And you'll see I have my uh, C-3PO controller that came with the Star Wars. 
360 and my Halo 4 controller. I also have a custom 360 controller that I got from Controller Chaos. They're awesome. If you haven't ever checked them out, check them out. They're expensive, but they're awesome. Down here, you're going to see kind of my, um, you know, uh, handheld games. You'll see I have my PSP games over here. Nothing really super crazy there. The Star Wars games are always my favorite on every system. So I enjoyed the Battlefronts here. Then you see I have my Vita collection. Um, I did get a few of the limited run games for this. Um, Rainbow Moon is one of them. And I think uh, Dragon Fantasy right there is another. Both are great games. Then you'll see my 3DS games here. And again, the Mario games and the Zelda games, just can't beat them for these consoles. Super Smash Brothers is good on any system. Mario Kart. Love those. So I have my 2DS here, my Japanese uh, DS, then the PlayStation TV, which does not get much use, and my PS Vita. And back here, it's kind of my junk pile, but these are where kind of games and consoles go to die. I have my Game Wave Zap It games, or the Zap It Game Wave games back here. I'm just missing one. But for my uh, complete collection, I need a VeggieTales game, and uh, I'm looking really hard for it. <laughs> uh, just because, you know, kind of want to complete that collection, even though it's a VeggieTales game that I will never play. Um, so that's kind of the bulk over here. Again, you'll see my boxed games, or my boxed consoles, or my consoles for my boxes. You know what I mean. Uh, that's my Japanese PS2 box back there. My... Battlefront PS4, um, you'll see um, that hack actually has a little clip of the film from episode one. You see my PSVR, I already showed you Alduin. Again, some of my Skylanders and Disney Plus, or whatever they're called. You'll see me as a stormtrooper right there. Got that in Disney and Star Wars Weekends. Um, I always thought that was really cool. Then over here. You'll see my NES game um, collection, some of the Zelda games up there. So these ones are all obviously the loose carts. And then I have some of the, just the ones that I've either seen around in, in thrift shops or some of the ones that I actually just wanted. So like I have the Adventure of Link, complete in box. Mar this one is not in great shape, but that's Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, and Kirby's Adventure. Then I have some of my uh, boxed Super Nintendo games, which aren't many, and then I have my um, N64 games kind of mixed all together in there, and some Game Boy games, and a um, Game Gear game, the Sonic 2. Um, down here you'll see my Sega CD. Now I have a really interesting story about this when I get there, um, but nothing real super crazy there either. I just tried Dragon's Lair again for the first time in a long time, and it um, destroyed me. It was very hard. I just don't have the patience to learn all the, or remember every single thing, you know. Um, I played Aladdin today on the Genesis, and it's always fun. Takes me right back to childhood. You'll see my Master System games in the back here. They never get used, but I have the Power Base Mini. That lets me play it on my Retron 5 or my Genesis. The, then I have my N64 games. These are the ones that I actually play. Um, and I have this really cool labels, just so it's easy to see. And the rest of my Genesis games, you'll see I have the, the full Sonic set here. One, two, and three, and then Sonic and Knuckles, and it's fun. Sonic Spinball too. Down here I have my batteries, some comics that I never ever look at, and my Super Nintendo American collection. Now, a lot of these were mine as a kid. Donkey Kong Country was one that I played a lot of. I know, it's horrible, the lighting. You can't really see. Super Star Wars, Super, Super Empire, Super Return of the Jedi. And I have some more here. Most of these are the sports titles. I just kind of have off to the side. And then Super Game Boy. Some pops and stuff back there. Um... Let's go to the main setup here. I'll kind of show you what I have. 
So this is where I do most of my gaming. It's just a little 32 inch, but it's all that fits in there. And I'm close enough where I can't really tell the difference. Um, so the way I have this set up is all of my HDMI consoles go to this TV. The rest go to, hey, there's me. Hey, everyone. Uh, the rest goes to this old Sharp TV that I played on as a kid. So you'll see I have the Sega Saturn with the Action Max. So I can play my Japanese games on it. My uh, Wii U. You'll see the Mattel Hyperscan hiding back there. I never really used that. And I actually have all of my um, uh, AV games hooked up to this. And it's just an easy click of the button um, just to switch back and forth. Down here I have my Atari 2600. The original Xbox. Down here you'll see another PlayStation TV. Uh, VTEC Flash, which <laughs> never gets used. I found it at a Goodwill for a couple of bucks. The Ouya, my original um, PS3, again, that is backwards compatible. I really hope that doesn't die. You'll see um, my original PS4. I have the PS4 Pro in another room, actually in the bedroom. Um, we use it as a glorified Netflix machine at this point. You'll see my Xbox 360, the Star Wars edition that I bought brand new, which the with the HD DVD drive back there. You'll see my Jungle Green N64 on top of my PS2, my GameCube, and you'll see I have a lot of wireless controllers. It's just easier for me. I do have all the original controllers, but I, I just find it easier to game with wireless. There's my Xbox One, the original one. The uh, Switch is back there. There's an, so that, that little guy, I've done a video on that of the unboxing. It's a, it's called, I think it's called the X Games something. Um, but it's got like 500 some games built in or whatever. I never really play that either, but it's a, it's a weird little console. Just, I kind of had to have it. You'll see the Neo Geo X Gold, my Retron 5, so I can play all my retro games and all my cartridge games, um, on HD, the Game Wave that is made by Zap it. That's, it's a little interesting system. Um, I should do a video on that one day, but I'm sure there are tons out there. And my Dreamcast um, hooked up so that I can use um, a PS2 wireless controller. So let's move over here. That's the main setup there. This is my little charging station. So you see my PS3 controllers. This is also a custom one from Controller Chaos. See my Minecraft um, turquoise controllers for the uh, Xbox One. Now this I actually just got as a brand new um, I think it's eight, I mean about 8 bit, something like that. It's a wireless N64 controller. It's set up like an actual controller. My hands are just too big for the original N64 controller, so I had to get that. The Retron controller, my um, Sega Genesis controller that I use for my Sega CD, um, my uh, motion controllers for the uh, VR, and then my PS3 controllers here. And over here, you'll see. Kind of my Japanese section. Not a whole lot in here. Um, still kind of working on it. So you'll see PS4, Dreamcast. I got some Saturn games up there. Some Xbox games. GameCube. Uh, my lone DS game. My PS2 games. Down here you'll see my N64. My Super Famicom. And then my Famicom games. Um, and then I have a little junk section down there that I just cleared out. I have the Guitar Hero guitars. I have a Tony Hawk skateboard and the, all kinds of peripherals over there that I don't ever use. I actually did just play Guitar Hero today um, for the first time in a really long time. And it was actually pretty fun. I also forgot to mention I have, let me move myself out of the way here. These are all of my um, Action Fleet Star Wars toys from when I was little. I found this great display case I just love how they look in there, and it, it just kind of fits well with my theme. Over here, you'll find my Japanese section. Um, so all of these consoles, everything here except for the Sega CD, um, are Japanese. So you'll have, have my N64 with the same switchers. They're all set up the same way. The Dreamcast, the PS2. You'll see my Sega CD down there with the... Uh, 
Mark II Genesis. I actually got that whole thing in a Goodwill. I found it for 30 bucks, and I was so excited because I've looking, been looking one for one for years, and I did not want to pay full price. I have my Wii, my Sega Saturn, my 360 with dust all over it, my Spice Orange GameCube, and my Super Famicom. Um, and again, they're all hooked up to a TV that I also had as a kid. I used um, Super Nintendo on this a lot, um, and I'm still glad to have it in here because it just kind of brings back that nostalgia feeling that I had by playing on it as a kid. Now this is the newest edition. I actually just built this this week. There's another chair over here. But um, with the quarantine, I've been working from home and I had just been working on my couch with my laptop. But I set this up over here. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. I have my additional handheld games. So you'll see my blue Sega Game Gear, my PSP, the video now players in there my Game Boy Pocket, my original uh, Game Boy that I had as a kid. That's the first screen I remember gaming on. My Game Boy Advance, my pink DS, and my Game Boy Micro. You see just kind of a smattering here of my PC games. They're more for decoration. I don't really play them. Um, you'll see I have my Mac and my work computer here. My keyboard, my mouse with the Death Star. I have a little TV here that I have a 360 hooked up to so I can have YouTube or something like that on in the background while I work. Um, then I have my VR here with my brownie brittle and some controllers, my lightsaber lamp. Um, again, that's really all I wanted to show you. This is longer than I actually wanted it to be. But I'm just going to do one more quick little spin here for you. Some more toys up there. Some signatures, things like that. If you see anything you want to talk about, feel free to message me. Um, until then, um, thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you in 2021 with an even more upgraded game room. Alrighty, bye.